Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Thea George and I'm here with Horatio Barakat from Broadridge. We're at Cybos 2017 in Toronto and we're talking about blockchain. Horatio, thank you for joining me. Oh, thank you. So blockchain is still clearly a huge topic of discussion at Cybos as it has been for a couple of years, but this year we've sensed a sort of diminution of the hype and maybe a bit more focus on the reality and even a slight bit of skepticism. What, what's your take on that? Over the last 12 months, there have been a progression from uh, more theoretical, lab-oriented uh, proof of concept uh, to more pragmatic, uh, what we call operational test cases that actually start kind of realizing some of the value and I stress some of the value of blockchain technology um, and then start preparing those operational test cases uh, just like one that we are working on uh, to, um, to be interconnected and connected to current systems to actually be turned into production. So I think we are in that intermediate step right now. Uh, hopefully uh, in the next Cybos or, or, or further beyond, we'll be talking about how we are implementing or preparing these solutions to be, uh, to be integrated with, with actual systems uh, in, in production. Okay, so from your perspective, what are going to be the key use cases? Where is it really going to deliver value in this industry? Operational processes are going to be significantly, uh, I'll call it disruptive, improved, uh, that's our view, uh, by, by blockchain technology. Back office processing, middle office processing on the capital markets business, every, all the processes through clearance, through capturing of trades, uh, to clearance and settlement of those trades, uh, given the, the distributed nature of the technology uh, and, and, and the ability uh, for, for participants to actually interact with each other with this intermediation or, or changing of the fiduciary roles within those, those ecosystems, it's going to provide significant uh, change and improvement to all those processes. So another trend that we've observed here at Finextra is that there was a huge amount of focus on consortia and working together on blockchain. And now as well, we see more individual efforts by financial institutions or providers to the industry or utilities, market infrastructures, etc. Um, how do you see those two streams of activity, the, the working together and the working on your own, kind of developing in the future for blockchain? I don't think they're, they're mutually exclusive. So I think you have the learning, uh, the experimentation of the technology and, and kind of and the early uh, lab exercises, obviously done individually or done uh, within small groups. Uh, I think uh, it is fine uh, for, for the lab exercise of the proof of concept, uh, for those solutions and given the nature of the technology, for those solutions to be, uh, to have a future in actual production, uh, given the collaborative nature of the, of the technology, they have to be done uh, in broader networks amongst other participants. So I think uh, people go back and forth. I don't think it is kind of stage one, stage two. I think there are kind of, it's like a cycle. So you can go back to the lab for specific technologies or improvements improvements, check on stability of new protocols, uh, test new use cases, but ultimately for, for those use cases uh, to be turned on into you know, operational test cases and then into production, they have to have the, the collaborative nature uh, of the entire ecosystem. Horatio, this has been great. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, thank you very much. And thank you for watching.